Today we have some drama unfolding at the breaking news to report regarding controversial decisions made by Premier League referee Anthony Taylor during Chelsea's draw with Tottenham over the weekend. Now, as you all know, it has been revealed that the Football Association has officially summoned referee Anthony Taylor to their headquarters this week to discuss the multiple controversial yellow card decisions he made against Chelsea players during Saturday's 2-2 draw with rivals Tottenham Hotspur to show them their project. As most of you but watching would know, this has Chelsea were some denied a clear within the real dressing room. In the first room. half, when Tottenham defender Multiple Christian Romero are reporting that Mbappe is hearing about the attention Hendrik is getting from the club. Taylor was in a perfect position Apparently to Killian see the incident, feels like he should be the main attacking star, and is even reviewing, reviewing it on his is shifting already to a 16-year-old. understandably enraged there Chelsea are even fans and players alike has given front of manager Carlo Ancelotti about this. Manager Thomas he Tuchel was shown a straight that he, red for not his protests on will the be Reals number one priority in but the But that was third. just the start of Taylor's controversial From what I'm calls hearing, against Mbappe Chelsea. sees Endrick as a direct in the second threat to half, take his spot he in the showed starting four yellow cards the next to Chelsea years. players for soft or debatable now, fouls I know what you're thinking. Reece James, this seems like a massive overreaction from Mbappe. Mbappe. But when you think about he it, failed to his book frustration is kind of under similar or even worse challenge. He left PSG to be the, the main man of real, for Tottenham only to see them go all out Chelsea for another superstar striker. Given how robust some of their challenges later. were compared to the soft and considering how dished out Endrick already is, it's easy it all to see why Mbappe to feel like would feel insecure. Being hard done by Taylor Personally, and his officiating crew. I think there's room for both of them to now thrive given the in Madrid magnitude attack. of the fixture and title but implications. But egos in soccer combined are a fragile with Taylor's thing, history and of Mbappe has always been vocal about Chelsea wanting the big focus of the, the FA have acted quickly. This is also where the According language barrier reports, and cultural they want differences to question Taylor could come about play. his decision-making process Brazilians during the match very and get to the bottom of whether he showed bias against, against the Chelsea in any way. I could see Endrick just being himself the FA and not will necessarily no caring Taylor about to any explain in detail why he denied the penalty for Harry right with Mbappe as replays clearly so showed what does this mean worthy of a spot kick? Well, they will also hearing, ask him to justify the soft nature of the yellow cards he remains priority players compared to letting Spurs off for similar or worse fouls. But they are still intent on signing Endrick as well. Did Taylor have His any preconceived notions going into the match? His potential is just too high to pass out. I'm sure intentions by the noise will continue behind closed doors. Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Was he influenced by the noise behind closed doors? Fans Be will sure remember to like Taylor's and subscribe for more transfer Chelsea rumors games and against Liverpool, news. Manchester United, Thanks for and even an infamous and I'll see you in the next card one. game versus Aston Villa a few years ago. On each occasion, he struggled to manage the game and maintain control, with big failures in decision making costing Chelsea. It's not the first time fans and pundits have questioned if Taylor is the right man for these high stakes fixtures involving Chelsea given his past history. Now the FA are taking that concern to the next level by directly questioning him over his displays. A statement confirming the FA's summoning said they want full transparency from the match officials in order to review all key decisions from the game and get clarity on their processes and ensure the integrity of the sport. So this represents the biggest step yet in getting to the bottom of Chelsea's grievances over Anthony Taylor. If found to have shown bias, it could seriously damage Taylor's top-tier refereeing career going forward. However, he will no doubt try to justify each decision when facing the FA this week. Either way, this controversy and investigation shows the scale of anger within the game right now over refereeing performances. With the title race and top-four battle so tight, clubs simply cannot afford poor or biased officiating influencing key results. The FA clearly want to get a handle on this before it spirals further. But it remains to be seen if Taylor can satisfy them or if this marks a watershed moment that causes top officials to be more closely scrutinized going forward. We will keep you updated as more details emerge from Anthony Taylor's FA interview. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts on the comments, do you think bias was shown or is this just scrutiny gone too far? Thanks for watching this breaking news update and join me again soon for more from the beautiful game.